My, my friend Wayne Gabari called me. He told me his friend Kathy, who just lost her friend uh, Richie, who was also actually a friend of Wayne's. Uh, she was sitting on a couch and she felt this something go by her, a whisk. And he wanted to know if I got anything on that. So I said, yeah, I'll call you back. I concentrated on it. Next day I called him back and said, you know what, Wayne? Richie used to sit on that couch tickling her feet while they're watching TV. That's what he was doing. He checks with Kathy and sure enough, and I just, I didn't think this was going to be true. Sure enough, that's exactly what Richie did. He would tickle her feet while they're sitting on a couch talking, watching TV or talking. Okay, so Wayne and I go over to Kathy's and to talk to Kathy, see if I could, Wayne wanted to see if I could get something on the house where they live. Um, sure enough, what happened was I meet with Kathy and Kathy's mother, her father, and her grandmother all came through. I might have had more, but I doubt it. I brought them in because they, we knew we were there for Richie. So, you know, to me, if I just talked about Richie, Richie just came through, I wouldn't be happy it was just Richie, number one. But the other thing is it wouldn't be real to her, and she had to really um, know that this was real. So Kathy, mother, came and said she's proud of her as she came through her life struggles that she never gave up on herself. She pushed hard and she is where she is today because of her, her being tough, her being stronger than she thought she could be. Then Richie came through. Now there's a legal matter going on with the will. <clears throat> Richie came through and told Kathy that his two daughters are gonna try and make issue, you know, an issue for her. The daughters are not in the will, by the way. I don't know what happened, but the, she had to stay strong, not give up, and don't worry about what they said or what they did. Everything's going to turn out okay. Well, as I'm leaving, saying goodbye, walk into my car. All of a sudden, I turn to Kathy. Wait a minute, Kathy. I said, Richie's showing me himself dancing. He's doing a funny dance. That what they do, uh, I told her, I explained to her, is they, they'll dance, they'll do push-ups, they'll do running. That's to let you know that they're whole again, that they have movement again. But it's a funny dance, Kathy. It's an Irish jig, actually. She says to me, she starts laughing like crazy. She said, you know what? He did that all the time at parties and stuff. He would cut up and just break out into like an Irish jig because he really couldn't dance. So he, he would goof around all the time like that. It really was meaningful for her. And she got quite a kick out of it. Don't you know about two or three days later, I hear that the daughters tried to uh, contest the will. Kathy stood her ground. She wasn't going to surrender to them. And it looks like they're not going to win. So Richie's message to Kathy was very significant about his daughters and what they would do. But it's also as important for her to see that Irish jig and know that Richie's okay and Richie's there for her. Anyway, folks, thanks for coming by. Always, always remain hopeful, never hopeless. Always be optimistic, never pessimistic. Have a great day. Bye for now.